Anderson. <laughs> Sherry, here you go. So a couple weeks ago, I was asked if I would speak here this morning, to which I said, sure. But, you know, I'm a risk taker, and I thought I'd take this risk. And I want you to know that I might fail, but I promise to fail forward and persevere because I've got grit. Somewhere with me, I've got grit. And so today I would like to share with you um, the journey of our learning commons. And my hope is it ignites learning in you that ultimately benefits our students. So what do you notice and wonder? I notice a few things about adults and children. I notice that with the best intentions, we as adults try to make life easy for children. And we solve their problems for them. And we fill their day full of activities. And we sometimes remove obstacles that make life difficult for them. And I notice that children are reluctant to take risks. And they come to see us to help them solve problems that I think they can solve on their own. And I see some, a little bit of less creative play. And so I wonder, is there a connection between the adult behavior and the children's behavior? And are we as adults robbing them of learning and growth opportunities. When we structure their day so full of activities, are we taking away that unstructured time to play and create and invent without us? And when we solve their problems, are we taking away the opportunity to brainstorm an idea, try it out, it doesn't work, try another one? And are we taking away the opportunity to interact with another human being and find some common ground to solve a problem. So, others wonder as well. Sorry, I forgot that slide. What, what are those soft skills that children will need in the future? There's lots of research and data about it. And I wondered, when they leave us here at Rockland Unified as young adults, what are those skills that they will need? And it's common amongst both of them. Whether you choose college or you choose workforce, it's the same thing, some of those things that are across the board. They need to be problem solvers. They need to be collaborators. They need to be leaders. And they need to be effective communicators. So this took me into some learning and my current thinking really is impacted from this here, these books, as well as strategic planning and also a technology class that I took this last year. And my current thinking is simple. Children need time to play, to create, to problem solve, to take risks. And, and in that time in doing so, they will develop those soft skills. And when they develop those soft skills, I believe that they will also develop genuine self-esteem. And so knowing where they need to be in the end of their time here with us in a K-12 system, we know those skills, that's powerful for us today. And that becomes the impetus of our work. And that brings me to the question, what type of space would foster self-directed learning, collaboration, risk-taking, acceptance of failure, creative problem-solving, all leading toward student growth? And the answer came to us in the form of a learning commons. And at Valley View, we call that 
21 commons, 21 for 21st century teaching and learning and commons for the space that we have. And a plan was created to convert our library and com um, computer lab into this space. Research was done and input was taken from students and staffs and, and the creation began. We needed to share with others and garner support and resources outside. This was a risky project. I wanted to knock down walls and get rid of furniture, get rid of books and bring in all new. We didn't quite go to that extreme, but we made a lot of changes. And I needed to take another risk and talk with our superintendent, Roger Stock. So I created my little PowerPoint and I went in to see him and I shared about my learning and my thinking and my vision. And since I'm standing here today, you must know what the answer was. I told Roger that I didn't know exactly what it would look like in the end. I knew that it would be a process and it would evolve over time and it would be revised according to students' needs and interests and it would also be revised according to our failures. And I made it clear that we would fail. But I made the commitment to fail forward. I would persevere and I would make sure that we were committed to the end to make it good and right for students. And Roger's comments was, wow, that's great learning and that's great for kids. How can I help? For which we are thankful. So partway through this journey, I realized this is project-based learning. I'm doing project-based learning. And I followed the design thinking model throughout. And I was so engrossed and so passionate about the project that it rarely felt like work. And then I realized this is the authentic learning that we want for our students. 21 Commons is a space for kids to play and tinker and take risks and fail and make decisions about their own learning and fail forward to persevere, to reflect on that failure, but to persevere with grit and continue through success. So our journey isn't over. Another chapter or two or three will be written. I can't wait to see kids come back to school and see how they respond to the environment. So I ask you, what do you notice and wonder? What out, think outside the box ideas do you have that would benefit kids? Start with a growth mindset, take risks, expect failure, but fail forward and start to write your own story. Have a great year of learning. Thank you.